What's going on guys? Thrashback here. Welcome back to the channel. Time for another episode of Taking Flight. And if you guys end up getting 100 likes on this video, I'll get another episode up to you guys on Wednesday. That's my promise. I know I was supposed to have a video up yesterday of this. However, with it being Mother's Day, I had to spend some time here at home. So I apologize for that. Um, so 100 likes and we'll get another episode going up on Wednesday. Um, if you guys didn't watch the last episode, you missed out because we added a new hut roulette rule. And that's going to be on rage quits. So if we get a rage quit... We get, uh, say we get 14 shots on goal in that game. We go 1,400 by now, and we get the 14th player. Simple. Um, so rage quits equal a new hut roulette, add a player. And players who are added, the first one added was Matt Cullen, can not be upgraded. Matt Cullen can never be upgraded, even though he has upgrades, you guys said so. Um, he's not a former Spitfire, he can't be upgraded. The only players who can be upgraded are like Adam Henrique, Brian Bickle, Kirby Reichel. Current and former Spits, that's it. Um, also guys, if you guys do not know Part of this game after every five wins we get a pack we're gonna open up a 15k pack and add whoever is in that pack um the thing is we're on uh game number five right now if we win this one we get our pack so after this game we could win we could add a spitfire because we go up on the market of course and if we win by three goals you know we go up and we find uh any spitfire in the first three pages we get to add him to the team we also get the pack if we can make this guy rage quit we could add so many new players to the team this could be huge so let's get into it and have some fun all right, guys, here we go, and he's got a really good team. He's got TJ Oshie, Ryan Johansson. They couldn't even be the Stanley Cup editions. So this is going to be a tough one. We have to do well. He's got Chris Letang. Oh, this is going to be a rough game, I think. But if we somehow come up with a victory, not only... Oh, shit. Come on, Bickle, get in there. Oh, he got tripped up. That's not a penalty shot? Seriously? Oh, come on now. Anyways, if we do end up winning this, we even get the division title pack. This game could be massive. Let's see if we can get it. He's got Ray Bork. He's got Ray Bork. How the hell do you have Ray Bork in Division 7? Come on, Kirby. Let's go. Go, Reichel. Yo, he gave you an opening. You got to take it. Kirby Reichel makes it one nothing. Somebody who I'd love to see make it to the NHL someday. He's a great power forward type player. He makes it one nothing, and uh, we're looking good so far. This game is massive. We get our division title pack. We can get a uh, 15K pack. If we can make this guy rage quit, we get to add so many new players. This, this is just going to be huge. Good job, Cuckoo. Bring it in. Cuckoo got a breakaway. This is not something new, but Vernon shuts him down. He's got Mike Vernon in that. Like, this is Division 7, and this guy's team is so stacked. Come on, Koklachev, go. Come on, Koklachev, get around. Oh, my God, yo. Oh, Koklachev, he got it to Brown. There we go, 2 nothing game. Logan Brown on the backhand. Koklachev doing all the work. Finally lost it, but went straight over to Logan Brown. And uh, we're looking really good here, guys. Fowler, Hosang, and Brian Bickle's in all alone. Got to go forehand on this one, and he fucked that up. You know what? Brian Bickle has been extremely good for us. He's allowed to make a mistake once in a while. We're going to finish up the period up 2 nothing. Brian Bickle, man, looking for another goal. He's been really good. Unfortunately, whiffed on that one. Shots are tied at 6, but we are literally quadrupling his time on attack. So, I mean, I think we're doing pretty good. Ryan Ellis over to Alexander Koklachev, and he's in on a break. Yet again, Koklachev is just so good, and he makes it 3-0. Alexander Koklachev, I wish he had upgrades in this game, because that card would be unreal. You see him going on display here. He might be the first. He might pass Bickle here and be the first one to 10 goals. All right, guys. Well, he put his uh, controller down now. Um, if this stays like this, I'm gonna, I, I think I have to consider the rage quit. Even though we have to finish the game, like this is... This is stupid. If he doesn't come back, I'm considering this a rage quit, I think. Well, he didn't end up coming back, so I'm counting it as a rage quit. I asked you guys on Twitter, and 83% of you said yes, it counts as a rage quit, so we're going to make that a rage quit. So, we got a rage quit player. We get to go up on the market and see if we can find a Spitfire on three pages. We won 3 nothing, And we get the division title pack as well as a 15k pack for being five in a row. Guys, we are killing it. So, how many shots did we get? Eight shots. He actually had more shots than us. So look at the time on attack because I just sat there. Jesus. All right. Anyways. Anyways, guys. Let's go uh, Let's go get some players. All right. Well, we're going to start this with our division title pack. I'm not expecting a lot because, obviously, it's only division seven. So, we'll see if we get anything. You know, add whoever comes to the team or something. Uh, Devontae smith Pelly and Scott Lawton. A couple of decent players. Um, I'll put them down. You know, we do have them. Uh, but as of right now, I'm, I'm going to keep it the way it is. I like our spit players. Now, the interesting stuff. We're going to go up on the market. 
Now we had eight shots on goal in that game. So we're going to set that a minimum of a thousand, I think, is okay. So um, no matter what, the buy now is going to be at a, a thousand after a reach quit. It's only fair. We didn't really get to play that game. And um, we get to buy the eighth player on the market. So let's go. Eighth player. Who's it going to be? One, two, three, four, five, six. Another goalie in Hutchinson, and I'm going to pass on him. We keep getting goalies. God dang it. All right. Anyways. All right. That's okay. Now, we won by three goals. So we're going to look on the first three pages. The first Spitfire we see, we get to add to the team. Now, here's the thing. Adam Graves, still available. Taylor Hall, still available. Some really good names out there. Let's see if we can add one. Let's see. Uh, anyone on this first page? No, I don't see anyone that played for the Spitfires. We'll move on to page number two. Nash, Hurdle, Lad, no, no. I don't see anyone here. Oh, no. We got one more page. Come on. Come on. Something big. Crosby. No one. Wow. I don't... I don't see anyone. Okay, is there anyone on the next page? I'd be really pissed if there's a hole in here. No. Man, we are not getting any luck right now when it comes to finding anyone on the market. We have one last thing. Or else we don't get to add anyone after that game. Here's the thing, we get a 15k pack. We get to add whoever we want from this pack. We're gonna get some decent stuff from here. So 15, and we're gonna go with the gold plus simply because we don't want their upgraded edition. We want the lowest one at all times. It's a Spitfire team, I wanna keep it that way. I wanna keep it difficult, you know? We'll go through it here. We got uh, Colton Sevier, all right. Uh, Casey Sezikis, Andre Burakovsky, what's up? Rasmus Ristolainen, and he might make the D. Um, we need some help on D, so that's big. And who's our other? TJ Brody, so defense. Coming in clutch. Again, these guys can never be upgraded. But as long as half the team is still Spitfires, we can add them in. So let's do it. All right, guys. Well, we have a casualty, and that's going to be Logan Brown. Logan Brown taken out. He will not be staying on the team. Burkowski coming in instead. And again, we can't upgrade his Burkowski in any way. But he's definitely going to help the team right now. Um, as well as Rasmus Ristolainen and TJ Brody both coming in. We have four still defensive Spitfires. And Ellis, Fowler, Kukuk, and Sergachev. So, uh, Ristolin and Brody gonna help out every line, I think, is a really good idea. That's all the changes. Let's get into another game. All right, we got another game. He's got Stasny. Uh, I'm not sure who else. I didn't really get to see the name. We didn't face off, surprisingly, against Stasny. Uh, is that Nelson? Brock Nelson, maybe? I don't know. Should be an interesting game. We got a shot on goal early. If we can win this one, maybe add another player. We're getting lagged out. Why do I feel like we're getting lagged out right here? Great. Do we just get lagged out? Do we just get the loss for that? No, we got the win! Yo, actually? Alright, well... Awesome. That was unexpected. We didn't win by anything, but we're gonna go up for three days because that's what it's gonna say. It's gonna say... Uh, do we count that as a rage quit? I don't think... I think that with the two... We'll count it as one rage quit. That We won't get the rage quit for this one just because, like, the other one, he technically didn't rage quit. So, we're going to go up and look on uh, the first three pages, I guess. Let's go. <laughs> That's really weird. That's really strange. Um, do I see anyone? Sakik? Sakik? He didn't know. Uh, Batman, Nuge, no. McDavid, no. Tanev, Couturier, no. Morgan Riley, no. Anyone? I don't see anybody. Holy crap. No one, again, no one in, on these three pages at all played for the Spitfires. Oh, wait, no, Jason Spezza did. There we go. We got to pick up Jason Spezza. I didn't even see him. I'm so sorry. You guys remember, like, you're a moron. How did you miss him? Jason Spezza. There we go. We got a player. So we'll go ahead and buy the gold edition of Jason Spezza and throw him on the team. All right, guys. Well, we need to find a spot for Jason Spezza. He's probably going to be really good here on the first line. Um, if we do that, I'm going to move Hosing down. And Henrik down as well. I'm going to move them down together. I'll put uh, Spets up. Oh, no. That'd be a very slow first line. I think I'm going to get rid of Matt Cullen. Never mind. I'm going to get rid of Matt Cullen. He's not a spit. He doesn't belong. But no, we're going to get rid of Matt Cullen. Um, he hasn't done anything since he came over. And uh, I think Jason Spets is going to be a good fit. Actually, you know, he'll do a really good job on the penalty kill as well. Uh, good offensive stats too. Maybe we can get uh, Cassian and Tibbins going a little bit more. And everything else I'm going to keep the same. Let's get into game number three. All right, here we go. He's got Richards, Bijanet, and Line A all on his first line. Very interesting. He's got Air Neck Vlad. He's got a really good team. All right, Kokolchev going to split the D. 
and he is in all alone. And Alexander Koklachev just keeps it up, and he makes it one nothing. Again, I wish we had a way to upgrade him. He doesn't have any upgrades. All right, very first shift here for Jason Spezza. And he's going to bring the puck in and be on a breakaway. And his very first shift and his very first shot is a goal. He makes it 2 nothing. Jason Spezza going back in. And uh, Martin Jones, not looking too great. We're up to zip. There it is, Jason Spezza out in front. Big pass by Scott Timmons. And they said 3 nothing. and Jason Spezza already has two goals in two shifts. He's out in front. I've got to give it to him. Kirby Reichel makes it a 4 nothing game. And we're blowing this one wide open. Oh my god, Brian Bickle. That was disgusting. He gets another goal. He is well on his way to getting upgraded. He's got a few upgrades, so I can't wait to see if we can get him as Team of the Year eventually. But it's a 5 nothing game. This one's getting ugly. Alright guys, that's going to do it for the first. We're up 6 nothing as Adam Henrique added a goal as well. And all I can say is, can we get a rage quit, please? <laughs> I just want to be able to add more players, but the team is so good. The team is so good. These are your stats. Shots are 13 to 2. We're tripling his time on attack. I think we're doing pretty good here. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's a game. He quit. <laughs> Just as I said it, let's go get some players. All right, well, we'll do the rage quit player first. 1,300 by now. Need the 13th player. Make it someone that's not a goalie. Anyone but a goalie. Jack Campbell has been way too good for us. So we don't need a goalie. We'll go 1,300 by now. Let's go. Who are we going to get? Come on, give me someone big. Scott Harrington, and I'm just not going to add him. I like Sergachev, and man, that's uh, that's kind of disheartening. We could have gotten something really good there. Instead, we get nothing, but it's all right, because we're going to be going up and looking for a Spitfire on the first six pages. That's six goals. That's crazy. We're going to get a Spitfire here. Let's make it Graves or Hall, can we? Let's get a superstar on the team. Who do we got? Aaron Ekblad, no. Kopitar, no. Mackenzie, no. None of these guys played on the Spitfires. Page number two. Fiala, Gus, no. Come on, Pronger, McKenzie, no. I don't see anyone there either. Go to page number three. Stone, Smith, Harrington, Carlson, no. Uh-oh. All right, well, <laughs> go to page number four here, guys. Come on now. Give me something. Anderson didn't know. Eichel, no. Holy crap, we're going to page five without a Spitfire. Wow. Johansson, the Kaiser, I don't recognize... I mean, I don't see anyone. And if they did, I'm not recognizing it. And I'm really sorry if I'm missing out on someone. I don't think I am. This is the final... Taylor Hall. There it is, Taylor Hall. Now, we don't get the Team of the Year edition. <laughs> we don't get the Team of the Year edition, obviously. But we do get to add base Taylor Hall to the team. We have our superstar. We have Taylor fucking Hall. Let's go add him. Well, guys... Time for a change, right? Now, Spets is going to play on the second line. I don't know how I want to do this. I want to have a right-handed shot on every line, but it's just not going to happen with Taylor Hall. Hall on the first line with Bickle and Henrik. Spetsa, Jose, and Kirby Reichel. Koklachev, Cassian, and Burakovsky. I, look, I want to have Koklachev on the first line. I, should we just leave Jose out? Should we get rid of Jose? He hasn't been great. He has not been great. And that will give us room to put Koklachev up here. We can put... Uh, Steve Ott here. Or we just get rid of, like, Natanin or Velarde. Should we get rid of Velarde? Oh, my God. You know what? We're going to get rid of Burakovsky. Screw it. We're not getting rid of Spitfires. No. No. I like this better. We're going to do that. And Steve Ott's going to come back and play center as Koklachev is going to make it to the second line. Um, he's going to be playing as a winger. I'm going to see how he does. Um, if he can keep it up, he's the first player on the team to make it to um, 10 points. He does not get an upgrade, obviously, because, I mean, he doesn't have any upgrades. But it's 10 goals or 10 assists, not 10 points. But he was the first player to get there, so good for him. I love the guy. So Steve Ott, going to play center here. Timmons, Natan, and Velarde, yes. And uh, we'll move Hoseng down to the third line and have Cassian, Ott, and Hoseng play together. I like it. All right, guys, well, we'll do one more game and maybe be able to finish this one. Sound good? Let's go. All right, guys, here we go. He's got Austin Matthews, Mike Camilleri, Gabriel Landeskog, and some lag. He's got some lag. But uh, we'll see if we can win this one. Taylor Hall, his debut game, 
Let's get him some points. Former teammate Cam Fowler, but Anderson makes a huge glove save. This should be fun. Oh, what a huge defensive play. Oh my god, Jason Spezza just saved the goal. As uh, it's been pretty even so far. Last minute shot by Sergachev, and that'll do it for the first. Uh, very dead even first period. Uh, he's got a really good squad. We've got our team, Taylor Hall, looking good out there. He refused to get off the ice for a bit there. Refused to get off the ice. Either way, we are all tied up after one. Oh, what? Come on, go, Hall. Go, Hall. Go, you're gone. Hall is gone here. Oh, we got tripped up. Taylor Hall going to get a penalty shot. That is huge. Let's go, Halsey. Get goal number one here. Held on to it just long enough, and Taylor Hall makes it one nothing. As uh, he took up a lot of the net with that dive. Luckily, I was able to just wait him out. Brian Bickle brings it in. Gets around Cromwell. Bombs it off the post. Oh, what a chance. He couldn't deflect it in. Oh, that was a huge chance. Come on, guys. We've been all over on this period. All over on this period. It's been crazy. I don't think he has a shot on goal at all. Come on, shut him down. Good job, guys. We're, we're playing really well. Just can't solve Anderson here. Big hit by Ristolainen, and clears that puck. Come on, guys. We have a chance to get one more real late here. Kirby Reichel, snipe it. Nope. All right, guys. That'll do it for the second period. We're up 1-0. The goal by Taylor Hall on the penalty shot. The only one so far. But I am promising you guys we're dominating. And here are your stats. Okay, so shots are a little bit closer than I thought. But time and attack, we are all over this guy. If we can solve Anderson a couple more times, we definitely have the win. Oh, Steve Ott looking for a goal. Steve Ott gets in and finally gets his first. And we're up 2-0. Koklachev in. And Koklachev buries it. 3 nothing game, less than a minute to go. Jack Campbell has to be the first star. As he hasn't allowed a goal in this entire episode. Even though, I mean, don't get me wrong. These games haven't been long. Jack Campbell has yet to allow a goal. In this entire episode, Koklachev with another snipe. Holy crap. 16 shots for him. Campbell saved them all. It's been a good day. All right, guys, here we go. Um, in the next episode, we're going to see if we can win the next division title. Do this all over again as, uh, I mean, we've been playing very well. I love the team that we're playing with. No buy now, nothing like that. We didn't get to rage quit. So, here's the girlfriend. Maybe that's going to be some girlfriend luck. Let's go. We got four pages to look for a Spitfire. And on the first page, I see an anti the Emmy. So, I mean, that's, that's great. Second page it is. Felino, Barkov, Eichel, no. Brian Bickle's upgrade. Yo, we kind of need that card. We actually, like, really need that card. So, I might buy it. Unless he has a Series 2 card. I don't really know if he does. Either way, he's not our upgrade, unfortunately. We'll move on. Uh, Erickson, need a rider. Man, I've not seen anyone here. You'd think that the Smiths didn't have any players on their team before, right? All right, one last page. Yossi, Lucic, Jones, Varlamov, no, no, and no. And that's going to do it, guys. No upgrades after that game, no additions, nothing. But we are playing very, very well. I'm going to go ahead and show you some stats right now, just so you see where everyone's sitting. Of course, they're not all the same as, you know, Cuckoo did have three points um, to be added. But look at Kokolchev, 13 points so far in eight games. He's killing it. Henrik has eight. And there's Brian Mickle with nine. He has six goals. He is really close to getting upgraded. Four more goals. Henrik only needs five more assists. Fowler needs four more assists. Ellis, four more assists. We're going to have upgrades for days. But the most important thing here is look at Jack Campbell. Those are some stellar stats right there. And we're getting it done. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy. I'm really enjoying the series, and I hope you are too. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.